What the bloody hell are you on about, I hear say? This card doesn't work in DOS, you twat. And you're right, it doesn't. However, you can still play DOS games with it, and I'm gonna show you how in this review. Yamaha made this sound card back in 1998 for professional use, and it certainly sounds like that. Ever since I heard what was coming out of this card about 20 years ago, I had no choice but to fell in love with it. The card was aimed at musicians with a simple task, to create music. It was a MIDI power plant with its own CPU, over 1000 instruments and the ability to connect plug-in boards with even more instruments. The output should be clear as a whistle, and I hope I won't hear any whistles there. I want to compare it to the Roland RAP10, which is the noise king of my series for the moment. Yamaha named the card SW1000XG for a reason. It contains more than a thousand instruments and utilizes Yamaha's own MIDI standard, XG, which stands for Extended General MIDI. Compared to General MIDI, which can use only 128 instruments on 16 simultaneous channels, XG can use over 1000 instruments on 64 channels. It's of course backward compatible with General MIDI standard, so it shouldn't be a problem getting the games sound amazing. I can't wait to hear how good or bad those games will sound. Backplay holds line in jack connector, RCA out, digital out and MIDI in out connector, which is the most important feature in this review. If it's 1000 instruments is not enough for you, you can connect various plugin boards to this connector and enjoy a lot more. It's of course only for music production, it wouldn't affect our test in any way. On the last connector is for connecting SW1000XG with the Yamaha's digital mixing card, which I don't have anyway. Unfortunately, this is a PCA card with no DOS drivers, so it shouldn't work in DOS games. But since I'm making this video, it does, doesn't it? Well, sort of. Since there are no DOS drivers for this card, it's pretty much impossible to use it as a full featured sound card in DOS games. So I don't care about sound effects this time, I have to use it as a general MIDI device with a bit of work and some additional hardware. I'm not sure if it's worth the trouble yet, let's have a look at how to make it work first and then we'll find out in some games. I've built two rigs. First is a simple DOS machine with a sound card that can send MIDI messages out through the MIDI ports. I'm gonna use Roland RP10 because I haven't taken it out yet since my last review. On the second rig is Windows 98 machine with BX chipset Pentium 3 on Yamaha SW1000XG. But it can be virtually anything with PCI slot that can handle Windows 95 or newer as long as it's 32 bit OS. I know that the card can work even under Windows 10, I'm not so sure about the MIDI part though. Yamaha can receive MIDI messages and play them back as a regular MIDI synthesizer, and this is where the MIDI port comes to play. They used classic PS2 connector that splits into two MIDI connectors, in and out, obviously. During the testing, I found out that I had to use the original Yamaha cable that came with the card. When I tried to use this cable, it just didn't work even though the cable wiring should be exactly the same. A sound card, in this case RP10, is set in the game setup as an MPU-401 or general MIDI device and sends the MIDI signal through the MIDI port to Yamaha which then plays the song. Of course, to get both sound and music, you have to feed the signal that's coming out of the Yamaha back to the DOS sound card through line in, because the DOS sound card plays sound and Yamaha plays music. Unless you want to use two sets of speakers. To initialize Yamaha's MIDI port in Windows, I had to run Yamaha's XGWorks software, otherwise it didn't work. If you've got Cubase or some other piece of software that can handle MIDI, it should be enough to get it working. The card can switch between two modes, XG and TG300B. You already know what XG is. TG300B, on the other hand, is Yamaha's implementation of Roland's GS standard. It works primarily in XG mode, unless the MIDI device connected to the card requests specifically GS standard. This is for example how these two modes sound in Doom. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a hassle and I'm still not sure if it's worth it, but I find it quite interesting and I wonder how it will work out. Before I start testing the games, I'm gonna test how clean the output is. 
I set the volume level to the same point as always and then boosted the signal by 12 dB. This time, compatibility depends on the used interface and not on the card itself, so I'll test only games with general MIDI support.
I can't believe I'm gonna say that, but the SW1000XG is the best general MIDI sound card I've tested so far. The music it produces is clear and pronounced with lifelike instruments. XG mode is astonishing and its GS emulation is pretty good. Not perfect, but good. Output signal clarity is even better than that of RAP10. In terms of MIDI playback, SW1000XG is my favorite so far, but I'd like to know what you guys reckon. There are two minor drawbacks though. First, it needs another computer. So it needs more space, more money and more work put to it. And second, it can't be used for sound effects in real DOS. Sure, it can be used in DOSBox if the computer the card's in is powerful enough to handle DOSBox. So if you've got this card and you like to play DOS games on some kind of retro hardware, give it a try, it's certainly worth it. If the computer is powerful enough to handle Windows 95, you're good to go. On the C for today. If you've got something to say, let me know in the comments. Bye for now.